Hi dear students, this is Dr. Mamta Chawa, your microbiology faculty. In this video module, we are going to learn about catalase test, a very important biochemical reaction. Now guys, the word catalase comes from what? C-A-T-A-L has been derived from the word catalysis, which just means to catalyze something or to accelerate some process. And A-S-E is nothing but a suffix for enzyme. So catalase basically is an enzyme which is going to catalyze some reaction. What is that reaction? That reaction is nothing but the decomposition of hydrogen peroxide that is H2O2 into H2O and O2. Alright. So in diagnostic microbiology, we deal with a variety of microorganisms which are said to be catalase positive. That is they are known to produce the catalase enzyme. Now, why is it important for us to have a knowledge about these bacteria? The reason is bacteria, that is the aerobic bacteria, the strict aerobes, as well as the facultative anaerobes, which can use oxygen for aerobic respiration, they have to face a problem. You know, what is that problem? That problem is a byproduct produced as a result of aerobic respiration, namely hydrogen peroxide, that is H2O2. And why is this uh, a problem? Because this compound H2O2 is extremely dangerous to the bacterial cell. So these bacteria which are entering into the state of aerobic respiration and therefore are producing H2O2, they must be having some way to get rid of this H2O2 so that the bacterial cell itself is not harmed. That's where comes the role of catalase in these bacteria. So such organisms are said to be catalase positive. Not just bacteria, we have got, you know, certain other kind of organisms also, for example, certain fungi which are catalase positive. So in the catalase test, what we do, we are basically testing whether the organism which has uh, grown on the culture medium is catalase positive or not. Does that organism which has grown if we treat those colonies uh, with H2O2, uh, do we see bubbles or not? Why bubbles? Because catalase, if is there in that microorganism, will break down the H2O2, which we are adding from outside into H2O and O2, that is water and oxygen. And the production of oxygen will be a seen, uh, will be, uh, you know, evident by the production of bubbles, that is effervescence. So this is the reaction which catalase precisely catalyzes. H2O2 is going to be broken down into H2O and O2. All right. Now, as I said that, uh, let's say you got some colonies from uh, some clinical sample on a culture medium. You will pick up the colonies and treat it with H2O2. That's the simple procedure of catalase test. But one important thing which you need to remember is that do not use colonies grown on blood agar. Okay. The reason is Blood agar has got RBCs and while picking up the colonies, if you, you know, pick up the agar also, you will pick up RBC. RBCs also possess catalase enzyme. So, the RBC catalase might give you a false positive catalase test. So, it is better to avoid blood agar or even if you are using blood agar, be very, very, very careful that you do not touch the agar while picking up the colonies. Ideally, you should not use blood agar, use some other medium. All right. Now, we have got uh, precisely two methods to carry out the catalase test. One method is this, that is the slide method. So, let's say you have got colonies, uh, you know, from some clinical sample uh, on the culture medium. And these are, these should be 18 to 24 hour old colonies, which uh, should be used uh, for the, uh, for this test, the slide method. Okay, so what you do over here is you transfer the growth uh, from uh, the culture medium onto a slide with the help of a sterile inoculation loop or a wooden applicator uh, stick and then with the help of a dropper or a pipette you add one drop of 3% H2O2, 3% hydrogen um, peroxide. Now if at all bubbles appear which I have shown in the form of these you know small small circles then we are going to conclude what? We are going to conclude that uh, the test is positive and therefore the organism is catalase positive. Okay. Now, if on the other hand, 
no bubbles are produced then we are going to conclude what we are going to conclude that whatever organism has grown on this cultured medium that is catalase negative so this is the simple slide method all right you are not supposed to by the way mix the growth uh, with the 3% h2o2 which you are adding with the help of the dropper you simply have to drop it you sim simply have to drop one drop of 3% h2o2 and look for the presence of bubbles the bubbles appear immediately if at all bubbles are appearing late let's say after 20 to 30 seconds then in that case we do not call it a positive catalase test because certain organisms have got enzymes other than catalase which can also break down h2o2 okay so late appearance of bubbles is not considered to be a positive test this is how the actual test you know looks like uh, so this is how you know uh, the bubbles are going to uh, appear in case uh, of a positive slight catalase uh, test and below is the negative test then guys we have got a second method that is the tube method here also 18 to 24 hours old colonies you're going to use uh, this test as the name implies is going to be carried out in uh, test tubes so in these uh, test tubes you can uh, you are supposed to add one to two ml of three uh, percent h2o2 and then with the help of a sterile inoculation loop you are supposed to transfer the colonies uh, you know into the tube if bubbles appear the test is considered to be a positive test but if no bubbles appear we are going to conclude that catalase test is negative simple so these are the two methods slide method and tube method this is how this test looks like on the left it is a negative uh, catalase test the tube method on the right we have got a positive catalase test tube method all right now we should also familiarize ourselves with the important uh, organisms, important pathogenic microorganisms, which are catalase positive. For example, a very important, uh, a very significant family of bacteria, which we need to learn about is the Enterobacteriaceae family, uh, which you all know is the family of gram negative rods or gram negative bacilli, all of which are what catalase positive. But there is one exception, and this is frequently asked in your virus also, that is Shigella dysenteriae serotype 1, also known as Shigas bacillus, belongs to Enterobacteriaceae family, but it is catalase negative. So please remember this exception. Then we also have got to remember another property of Enterobacteriaceae family members, that is the gram negative bacilli uh, belonging to this family, apart from being catalase positive, are also oxidase negative. All right. So you have got, you have to remember a list of catalase positive organisms oxidase positive organisms and also those organisms which are positive for both enzymes that is catalase and oxidase both positive i personally call such organisms as you know cop or polisman organisms cop means p se catalase o se oxidase p se positive ye teeno ki teeno lists maine apne instagram handle pe post kari hui hain i will share the links uh, of those three separate in instagram posts in the description of this uh, video please have a look so let's say a uh, gram stain tells you that uh, you are dealing with some gram negative rod and you carry out the catalase test and the oxidase test. Catalase test comes out to be positive, oxidase test comes out to be negative. So your inference is going to be what? You are probably dealing with uh, an organism which belongs to the Enterobacteriaceae family. If oxidase test is uh, positive, then uh, that organism does not belong to the Enterobacteriaceae family. Oxidase test also I will cover, uh, cover in the upcoming videos on biochemical reactions. Then guys, gram-positive cocci, the medically significant gram-positive cocci, remember there are two important uh, families uh, uh, which have got gram-positive cocci. One is the micrococci family and the other one is the streptococci family. The family micrococci is what catalase positive and the family streptococci is catalase negative. Now, in streptococci family, you just have to remember and learn in detail about one important genus that is streptococcus. Remember, streptosis also gets strips, strips matlab chains. So, streptococcus genus is the genus of gram positive cocci arranged in chains. In the microcococci family, there are four genera of which 
Two, you should remember, one is Staphylococcus, uh, which has got a plethora of organisms. Uh, most important is Staphylococcus aureus, which I personally refer to it as uh, the A1 or the number one pathogen in the genus Staphylococcus. Um, okay, so aureus se socho, A se aureus, A se A1 ya number one. So Staph aureus, you have to read in detail in your theory exams. Ke re di. Ken viva ke re. Micrococus bichara innocent sa hai. Okay, so these are skin commensals, uh, they are not pathogenic. Staphylococcus uh, is the genus of gram-positive cocci arranged in grape-like uh, clusters. Micrococcus genus uh, is the genus of gram-positive cocci arranged in, you know, tetrads. Alright, so do remember that uh, these important uh, families of gram-positive cocci, Micrococcus and Streptococcus respectively are catalase positive and catalase negative. Then uh, the important catalase positive organisms, the important examples you can remember from this mnemonic. Both bacters are notorious in going places to catalyze uh, positive sickness in humans. Now both the bacters, which bacters do you remember? Helicobacter pylori and Campylobacter jejuni. You don't know the theory of this. Okay. So when we say both the bacters, so bacters say you don't know mind me mind. Then both the bacters are notorious. N say notorious, N say no cardia. Remember, no cardia is an example of a gram positive filamentous, uh, branching filamentous bacterium, which you need to know. Then uh, going places. P say kya hai? Pseudomonas aeruginosa. Then L stands for Listeria monocytogenes. A say aspergillus, C say canada. Remember, at the outset of this video module, I happened to mention that there are certain fungi also uh, which are catalase positive. So, here we are. Uh, so, do remember these two important examples of fungi which are, uh, you know, catalase positive, aspergillus and canada. Then, E say mene batai diya, enterobatidaceae family. Do remember the exception which I told you. Or, S say aapko kya yaad karna hai? Staphylococcus. Okay. Now, all of these catalyze positive sickness in humans. So, catalyze positive say kya yaad karna chahiye? Catalyze positive. Alright. So, guys, uh, that's about uh, this video module. If you haven't checked out uh, the previous video modules on biochemical reactions, that is on indole test and citrate test, uh, please check them out as well. And uh, do let me know in the comment section how did you like this uh, video. I shall be posting more uh, biochemical reactions in subsequent uh, videos. Uh, please share this video with your friends, uh, your seniors, uh, juniors. And you can um, check out more academic content of mine on my Instagram, Facebook, uh, Telegram and other social media handles. Uh, whose link I shall be sharing in the description of this video. Apart from, of course, the three important Instagram posts uh, on catalase positive, oxidase positive and COP organisms. So guys, that's about this video module. Thank you, study well and God bless.